All right, so we're still on the SLEDS trial here. Um, you go to scc.susa.com and you can register here and get an evaluation. Um, when you go to the downloads page, there's an option for, I think it's a 60 day eval. Um, so you can just poke around here after you set it up and you have, you see I have one subscription here and this is just for uh, SLEDS. And they give you a registration code which you can register during install or um, you can use yes after the install or even the command line. Um, I have a, a server register right now, so I provide I use SLES 15 here. Um, I'm going to remove this and I'm going to do a reinstall here for the video. And we're going to re register it so we can get subscription, so we can get all the updates and whatever we need. So there we go, no systems registered now after it's been removed. So now we're going to start with the install here. Once you have the ISO, uh, it's kind of straightforward here. I'm going to speed up the process a little bit so you don't got to sit through it all in real time. There's just a couple things you have to do. To get this to work properly. So if we just install SLES first and then we go and install the virtualization product, we can get the desktop with it, which is what we're going to do here. So we're going to do it in SUS Linux 15. And then create the terms. And then here we have to register with the credentials we have in the portal, which I showed you. It tells you the address, scc.susa.com. So you can see that it's registering. And it's pulling updates from there now. Now we can get updates. There we go. You got repositories, so yes. I'm going to enable them. So the only thing that we have to do here is make sure we include the desktop application module and this will give us a, a desktop. If we tried to install this virtualization server, we wouldn't have the option to do the desktop module. So that's why I'm doing SLES with a desktop application module and then the hypervisor on top of it. And again, I'm speeding this up. So the hypervisor is, oh, here we go. First, um, if you'd like to add any add-ons, you do it here. And here we're doing SLES with GNOME environment. You can do just the text mode only if you want it. Or you, if you select a KVM here or Zen virtual, virtualization hosts, you will lose the desktop environment. So I'm going to just do no, for now, and install the hypervisor afterwards. Only well, because I like to see things in a GUI. All right, so you can create a user if you want, but I'm just going to skip user here and just use root for this evaluation. Put in the root password. next and here we go I'm gonna speed this up we don't need to sit through it in real time again now that uh, the hypervisor here is it's just like the open source one that I installed uh, that I have the videos for it's just using vert manager which is not really great it doesn't look too much different I'll show you that here at the end um, however there is a product called SUS manager which I'm looking into now which I'm hoping is like a vCenter alternative where you can manipulate VMs within there too because 
that would be nice if it is it looks looks okay I have the interface up but I've been having problems since it's an email so here this is just going through a reboot after the install here So yeah, keep an eye out for a Sles Manager update. And this is the problem I have with a registration code. When I enter the registration code, it is case sensitive. So I put the caps lock key on and it made my password using caps lock. So I have to go in here and change that. There we go. Now we can uh, proceed as normal. Uh, we're going to go in the AST and then scroll down to virtualization. This is just like the OpenSUSE. And then install a hypervisor and tools. You can do the Zen or KVM here. Um, I talked a little bit about this before. I'm just going to go with KVM. Accept that. Uh, it says it's in text mode, that's fine. All I'm doing is installing it. So, speed this up as well. Yes. All right, we're ready to install guests now. So we can go out of here and then we can just type vert dash manager. And this is pretty much the same as the open source. I was kind of hoping it'd be a little bit more to this, but it's not really. And everything installs the same, automatically detects the ISO that we had there. I'm just taking the defaults here. And we go bridging this time. I'm not really doing anything, just playing around, looking at it because uh, I showed this in the OpenSUSE one. I'm not really impressed with uh, Bird Manager. So like I said, I'm looking around and I think uh, SUSE Manager might be the answer, but I'm not sure yet. So keep your eyes peeled for a video coming on that.